Hi, I'm Kirsty Horner. I'm from Heathview Community School. I'm the Year 5, 6 class teacher and the science coordinator. Um, and I'm going to be filming a few lessons over the next few days using the BP environment resources. As the recycled paper experiment is using something that I've never actually done before and I don't actually know how to make recycled paper, I've decided um, to have a go myself the day before I'm going to do it in class to make sure, one, my blender does the job, and two, that the results are what we want them to be. Okay, I'm really glad I did that. A couple of lessons that I've learned. Number one, don't fill it over the max mark, otherwise water will go everywhere. And number two is that there are some really keen observations that you can make about what is actually happening to the water. Because as you can see, rather than just pieces of water, the, the water has actually changed colour. So I'll definitely be including that in my lesson plan. Right, I've just arrived at school in the morning of the first video that we'll be doing today um, in class. And I've just noticed that it's such a beautiful morning that it shows our school in its best light. So this is Heathview School. Hi! Hi. Now, you can use any type of paper to make recycled paper. Um, I've got some newspapers left over, so I'm going to use them newspapers, but you could use any of the recycled paper out of the, re out of the paper bin. You can use any paper except shiny paper. And what we're actually trying to make here is um, something that we call mulch, or pulp, which is just where you've got all the paper in tiny, tiny little bits mixed with all the water. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, so if I take the blade out, again, you can't go near the blade, so don't touch it. You can see we've got a grey pulp, okay? So what we do is pour the pulp onto the sieve. Why are we trying to get rid of that excess water, do you think? <coughs> so you can make paper because you don't have water in paper, do you? No. So we're trying to get rid of that excess water. So we let it drain out as much as we can and you can see it's already a bit thick and gooey on top. The last part of the process is we need to leave it to dry out and let some of that water be absorbed. So we actually shake it onto a piece of newspaper and as you can see this isn't going to be a very big piece of recycled paper and then all we're going to do is close the newspaper make sure we squash it down nice and evenly <coughs> even as we can we want a nice big piece of paper put it to one side and leave it and hopefully in a couple of days I will have a nice dry piece of recycled paper that I can use for my investigation okay Right then, so now you've seen how we make uh, recycled paper, what you'll be doing today is in your groups you'll be making a piece of paper and then you'll be planning an investigation using this sheet in your groups. And the investigation question is actually testing the strength of recycled paper. We want to know whether recycled paper is as strong as normal A4 paper. How are you going to carry out your investigation? Get, I'm going to get a bag, to, well a bag, and put some objects in it and which one snaps the first, which one snaps first is weaker. Um, it's Friday morning now and today we're going to be doing the follow up to the recycled paper investigation. Okay, so I'm here with the cheeky monkeys um, and our objective has changed a little bit today, hasn't it Luke? Why is that? Why is that? Our objective has changed because we can't make the paper into loops so we can't do our experiment and that's why our objective has changed. Fantastic. Um, so, can you describe the paper then? Katie, can you describe the paper? It's breakable and it's flaky and it's hard to write your name on it. It's hard to write your name on. Super. So which do you think is stronger then? The normal paper. The normal paper because that breaks very easily, doesn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Right, they really enjoyed that lesson with the recycled paper, um, despite the fact that obviously it didn't go entirely to plan. They still um, learnt a lot about the pros and cons of recycling and about just how difficult it actually is. 
Um, that's it from me. Thank you very much for the opportunity to film our school and our class doing some of our learning. Thanks very much um, for the camcorder and thanks very much um, for your resources. They've made this week of learning about climate change um, really, really fun and the children have really enjoyed the investigations. Thank you.